stream. The vault explodes in second long stream. I am not joined by Rye Bro this time, but I am joined by Crayon. The Champions Division wasn't enough, so we've got an even harder league going, even more difficult to qualify, and of course, an even more juicy prize pool, 300 euros that they'll be fighting for alongside the other divisions when the ECC Season 8 starts. But this game now, we've got the GTZ Bulls and Domino Academy in the third round of the loser's bracket. What are you expecting from this game, Victor? Oh, it's going to be very tough indeed. I mean, both of them are now fighting to stay alive in the qualifiers, which, well, it's going to be interesting to see. I haven't seen how GTZ Bulls have played yet, but I have indeed seen how Domino Academy played. And it was very, well really interesting earlier on when we saw Domino Academy uh, you know just very slow on following each other's shots and everything but it's going to be interesting and let's just talk about predictions uh, who do you think will be taking this series Creolix? Um, it's hard to say you know obviously the Domino guys have uh, come in all the way through this lower bracket obviously got knocked out quite early gtc bulls on the other hand getting knocked out into that round one lowest bracket but making it all the way here to round three for their spot against domino academy so you know a bit of a, a success story for them if they pull this off and take down domino academy they'll have a chance to go all the way through the lowers and qualify for that vortex league spot domino academy of course only won one series in that lower bracket so far and looking to go forwards here and regardless of which team wins in this game they've got one more but you know i'm going to root for the bulls i think they've got this i believe in their their lower bracket sweep same here i do believe that well we saw already that domino academy i believe they swept Knox earlier on uh, they have a new whole new roster for them so my prediction i don't see domino academy losing against GTZ Bulls, if I'm being honest. So I have my money on Domino Academy. Please don't let me down. But without a further ado, let's get this game started. Still GTZ Bulls. On one of the teams, I believe. Oh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> Ooh, rip my bad. <laughs> oh, I just sent them without another team to play <laughs> against. <laughs> oh, this goes by Sombrero. I saw. Ah, uh, I am... Um... This is going south real quick. <laughs> oh, I can't, can't blame you. The other team is uh, pretty late to the party, but uh, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't have a series with only one team, Victor. <laughs> Indeed. It's going to be interesting to see how Domino Academy will be playing against each other, all three of them. <laughs> a bit of technical difficulties as well earlier on where we could not find the server. To again put... as well. It looks like we're getting hit with the classic psionics issues. You know, we thought they might have fixed them a little bit, but they're back and servers can't seem to hold up to the workload that psionics brought in with that free to play update. Ah, oh, this is going to be a bit longer than we expected. We do apologize with the delay but while we're waiting Creolix, let's talk about domino academy they broke their curse of being reverse swept earlier on sweeping uh nox esports in the first uh, winner's bracket round one which was very very interesting to see very many upsets going left and right and uh yeah have you seen how they played earlier on or did you just, uh, just I didn't come actually on get up? a chance to catch them. I've just come on. I've been pretty busy all evening, but I've just had a look at the bracket, you know, the results. And I have to say, you're right. There's been quite a few upsets this evening. Domino Academy said they had a nice game earlier. They've, of course, come into that lower bracket and swept their previous series. And now they're coming head to head with the GTZ Bulls. You think they won't lose this game for sure. I've got my money on the Bulls. You know, I want to believe in that underdog success story. And, uh, it looks like this time we have everyone in and we'll let them get going after that 
this little hiccup we had earlier see what happens now we go to the first kickoff of the series for the second time which is going to be interesting domino academy against gc GTZ Bulls, I need to get used to that name, but either way, now Victorson with the ball possession can't get a touch. As Danny now trying to get it past one, he does so, but a demo comes through as Swampy trying to get a block, but Fnami will send it away. Now Danny getting a touch into the corner, Rigo is there, but Victorson with a block, Swampy with a shot, will it go in? It will bounce! from the pose and Swampy will be taking the lead for Domino Academy. Yeah, Victor, nice catch there in the corner. Saw his opponent was trying to do. Gets a great pass into the middle, but Swampy, what a touch. I mean, none of the defenders were up for that read. He was super quick and, you know, I think it was a bit of an awkward bounce off the corner for them and ended up going in his favor. Nice early lead there for the side of Domino. So they'll be happy with that one. Danny now getting an unfortunate touch back into the middle as Victorson now trying to put a shot on target. He can't do so as Fnami now blocking Swampy. A pass is going to the middle and Iyam will be the one who extends the lead for Domino Academy. Swampy, great block read there. Victorson, such good speed to catch the pass and Danny was almost there but just couldn't quite get to that corner a lovely shot from me i'm coming in from the side there domino a great start from them in this first game brilliant start by domino academy in the two minutes or well two goals sorry with over four minutes left on the clock will they hang on to the lead or will gtz bulls gtz bulls just fire back now as we Swampy nearly getting another shot, but now it's cleared away as Victorson now getting a brilliant 50 on Flammy. Swampy going for a follow up, he gets a slight touch. Iam getting intercepted by Rigo as Rigo now trying to go for a double touch. Really get it, he can't as Victorson with a miss. A fake comes through by Rigo, but Iam gets a slight touch. Swampy into Iam as Iam goes for a shot, he can't find the net. Unfortunate right now. The GT Bulls can't really seem to get things picked up. Looking a bit awkward. Perhaps that downtime has let them go cold and just a bit of game one blues. At least you have to hope that. Meanwhile, the Domino Academy looking pretty confident, applying a lot of pressure on that net and it's working out for them so far. Swampy up to Iam. Iam trying to drop it down to Victorson. Victorson with a shot saved by Rigo as Iam now trying to keep the pressure up. Demo comes through, that's bouncing down, and it goes in! As Danny is the one who strikes for GTC Bulls. Yeah, a bit of a mistouch there from Iam, you know, attempt to recover that from his teammate, but Danny, lovely catch, bounce off the ceiling straight in, none of the defenders are catching that one. And now the GTC Bulls have started to creep back into this one, closing the deficit by one goal, and just over half the game left, and still looking pretty even, I suppose, man. The teams do look very even, a lot of pressure uh, by both teams, but as well, the defense by both teams are a bit shaky currently, but I can't blame them. It is the first game in the series after all, and they're fighting to stay alive. But as I speak, Iya nearly extends the lead, but Tsunami is there with a brilliant save as Rigo now regains the ball possession, but gets blocked. In the process, Danny now going for a flip reset fake. He gets the flip but can't get the touch on the ball. Now Rigo can't find contact on the ball as Danny now shoots it. Well, not shoots it, but yeah. Iam can't find a better touch than that as Rigo now trying to clear it, but Swamp is in the way. Yeah, heavy pressure being absorbed by this GTC Bulls team, but they make it work, they get the clear out and you know, on offense, you've seen them go for a few solo mechanical plays, but nothing that's worked out too hot for them. Meanwhile, you've got Domino Academy utilizing those passes to keep possession, and they've managed to keep their lead thus far. And with a minute and a half on the clock, we'll have to see if the Bulls are able to get anything better started. Right now, they're kind of struggling to work as a team. Fnami goes for a pass to Danny. Danny can't find a touch as Fnami now goes for a shot. Victorson with a save. Swampy happily clears it from the two players. 
No, Swampy going for a pause. Eyam is there, but gets blocked in the process as we go. Gets a pause too, gets demoed in the process. Flammy is there and shoots for the net and will equalize the game. Yeah, wonderful control from Rigo there. That first catch just absolutely finesses Victorson and then takes it past the flick. He does get demoed, but the flick was enough to put it in position for Nami to get that beautiful shot. And now they've tied it up, heading into this final minute, all to play for between these two teams to see who's going to get that early lead in the series. Victorson getting it past Danny in the air, but... Vigo is sending it back into the orange half. Iam does the same, but to the blue half. Ping pong between the two players, but Swampy now trying to find his teammate. Passes it to Victorson, but Danny is just in the way. Danny going for a pass once again, but Victorson now catching it. Iam going for a massive flick. He gets it and scores for Domino Academy. Yeah, really unfortunate. Panami, bit of an overcommit there. Leaves Rigo in a tough spot, 1v1, and Iam takes his opportunity. Beautiful display of his skills and pops that into the net, taking the lead back for Domino with 32 seconds on this clock now. GTZ Bulls once again on the back foot. How will they respond? 30 seconds left on the clock. Indeed, how will the Bulls be responding to that as I speak now? Danny, we have a shot! will sneak one behind them and equalize the game for the second time really rapid response there panami coming in hot taking it past swampy and victorson the defense seemed a bit panicked there and the gtz balls seem to have warmed up a little bit they're playing a lot more fluid than they were in those early stages and really taking the fight to domino victorson gets a touch into iam but rigo is now in the way as iam now Tries to go for a pinch. 10 seconds left on the clock. Panami goes for a pause. Can't find anyone. Goes for the double touch. Really get it a bit too wide as Swampy now regains the possession. Danny keeps it alive, but Iyam will be killing it. We move to overtime in this first game. Yeah, it's always a good sign having overtime in that first game. You know you're set up for a great series. Here's Swampy going for that little double touch action, but. Great backboard defense by Panami. 10 seconds in already. The overtime's action packed, but it's Ian with a banger of a shot to take that win. It will be Domino Academy who claims that first game of the series. Domino Academy now 1 0 up in the series. Good play by both teams. The pressure was on point, the defense was on point. Let's see how. GTC Bulls would be responding to that. So, what are your thoughts, Creolix? I think at the start, you know, it really one-sided. Domino got those nice two early goals. They established a lead. Their dominance, I think, for me, they were playing a lot better as a team in those first, say, two minutes. Then towards the middle of the game, the GTC Bulls started to wake up a little bit. They got one goal back in. They built up a bit of morale. They, you know, kind of got that stiffness out of them from their break. They really started pulling together as a team. And it was really close in the end there, you know. Unfortunately, in the end, they couldn't quite stop that shot from Ian. But it's definitely a good sign coming to the rest of this series for them because I think this is going to be a really good one between two relatively evenly matched teams. It's going to be very interesting indeed. Domino Academy will be, of course, yeah. taking game one. But nonetheless, GTC Bulls, let's give a bit of credit to them as well. Keeping themselves alive during that whole game pushing domino academy to overtime but at the end it was domino academy who is the one who takes game one but now we move to beautiful urban central as our game number two in the series strong Nami taking instant possession into the corner. Now pass to a lovely pass into the middle, but none of his teammates there to help him out. Unfortunate missed chance for them. And immediately have Domino Academy coming in with the open net chance wasted for them. An action packed first 20 seconds. Wasted chances from both sides. Indeed, a wasted chance by both sides. A double. Uh, Touch attempt, but as I speak now, Ian with a disgusting bomb opens the net for Victorson, who will be striking first in the second game. 
Yeah, it was a lovely pass as well there from Swampy. Just drops it back onto his teammate. The bump coming out, just sending that keeper flying. And the cleanup shot. Domino Academy with the lead once again. And a quick kickoff almost giving them a second goal, but will be swiftly denied. Indeed. Now the pressure is on by GTC Bulls, but brilliant save by Victorson. But it's just very tight right now. Domino Academy leading with one. Maybe another shot coming from them as well. But it's very, so far, even in on the field. No, no one just wants to make a mistake at this point. It's just do or die at this, you know, losers bracket round. Yeah, indeed. You know, this is their last chance to make it into that Vortex qualifier. Everyone wants that, you know, spot in that league because it's got the biggest prizes it's got the most competition it's gonna you know have a lot of fun and a lot of it you know improvement opportunities for those teams involved so they all want to make it there and you can see in the play here's a pinch though recovery response from the gtz bulls coming all the way from their back half panami what are you doing the pinch comes through it just goes straight into the net. That was very disgusting of him. Very, very clean. And it now is equalized in the scoreboard. One to one for both these teams. I'm trying to feel each other out still a little bit in the second game, but we're seeing a lot more fluidity, a lot more team play compared to that first one. They're both comfortable in uh, trying to control the pace of the game. It's not any one team dictating the flow right now. And you know, it's reflected in the scoreboard with that even score, but here's a chance. Panami, a lovely clear solo defender in Ian, but he does make a lovely defensive play. Panami, they have a heavy touch onto the ceiling, leaves his teammates to stop that one, but they do a good job of absorbing the attack. So far, so good. Both teams are just keeping the ball at the center, just sending it to each other, trying to find each other as well. Just going for team plays, trying to open opportunities, just give opportunities to the teammates. And as I speak, again, Victorson trying to go for a pass. But it's just very tight once again, just both teams currently just equalize and they just don't want to be the one who has a back foot. Yeah, indeed, neither of these teams wants to be the one to give up that bit of pressure, give up that lead to the side, but a miss. Touch a lovely dunk from Swampy. Perfect read from him and Domino are in the lead once again. Swampy just getting the speed flip with the first touch and then the dunk after as well. Mispositioned there as well by the GTC side. And it is going to be Domino Academy who extends their lead. But don't you worry, it is two minutes left on the clock. Will they be able to equalize. Yeah, GTZ did a good job of keeping it relatively even in that previous game, but Ian with another musty flick. That's seeming to be a signature move. Catches the Bulls out of rotation. A demo attempt was there by Danny, but unfortunately, he could not find it. And it is Ian with another musty flick who will extend the lead once again for Domino Academy. Two goals separates these two teams now. GTC Bulls have to step up their aggression. And it's a double tap attempt from Rego, looking to put a bit of style and finesse into their play, but doesn't work out too hot for him. He's got a chance to push forwards now, beats out one man. Good job of Victorson to get that clear, but Danny's in there immediately to keep things going. The Bulls playing super aggressive right now, trying to create opportunities in the other half. Rego, another double tap attempt. Here's his teammate to make the shot. It's a miss. Konami will have to take possession, but heavy-handed touch from him. Looks like they can't get anything started on this net there. They've got all the pressure. They've got all the possession in the half, but they're not actually getting anything on this net. Here's a flurry set pass, a bump. But Konami's duff the shot. The finish is on, but a great save from Victorson. The defense plays over at the Domino side. It's really great as well. Just 
unfortunate that uh, GTC Bulls can't find the net. Uh, but as I speak, Manami with another shot. Too high, Danny. A bit too high as well as Rigo. Now going for his own attempt and puts it a bit too wide. But it's just very un unfortunate to see that the shot isn't on target. But as I speak, Rigo will be me proving me wrong and puts one in for GTC Bulls. Yeah, lovely shot from him. Gets the bounce under one. The last defender, Victorson, was perhaps trying to go for a bit of a squishy there. Thought the double tap was coming in, but gets caught out by the attacker's ploy as well. And now it's within one goal in the final 25 seconds. What will happen now? There's a big window for this GTZ Bulls side to pull themselves back, but they need to grab the opportunity with both hands. We reach 10 seconds now, the last 10 seconds to score the equaliser. Will GTC Bulls do it? So close, the ball is still alive. Panami keeps it alive. Victorson tries to kill it. Swampy is there, pops it up in the corner, but it's very tight right now. Oh, the demo will spell defeat. Domino Academy taking game number two by one goal as well. Great performance from them i think both teams looked a lot more confident in this second game but domino just really playing speedily and they really make use of their opportunities when they get them you know they push forwards they, i'd say they didn't actually have as much time on that net which is kind of reflected the shot counts are exactly even but i'd say gtz bulls had more time in the opponent's half than domino but they didn't really you know utilize that time to create opportunities to shoot and unfortunately reflects that in the scoreline. Domino Academy now, they already showed how aggressive they are. They won against Knox Esports, which on paper would look like a huge upset. Knox Esports on paper would have beaten Domino Academy, but then Domino Academy just showed everyone that, no, we're not going to lose to Knox today. And they already showed in this game as well, their aggression and the pressure that they have they currently have like seven shots compared to like actually GTC Bulls also having a lot of pressure but it's just the accuracy and the consistency that Domino Academy have it's just a bit of whiffs now and then by GTC Bulls you know some commits over commitment but let's not talk anymore as we walk or yeah, we go over to match point for Domino Academy. Will they shut it down like they did earlier on? Or will GTC Bulls hang on? Now as I speak, Nami will be the one who strikes first and scores for GTC Bulls. Yeah, it's exactly what they needed to do. Get that early opportunity. Great uh, shot from him, you know, saw how the defenders were coming in, puts it underneath them both gets that one goal in you know previously we've seen domino take the lead in both those games and he gave them a bit of an edge in terms of you know confidence and now seeing the bulls do that but danny what a save recovering for his teammates mistake there keeping them in that lead as well for a bit longer panami now going for a pass to rigo rigo can't find a great touch but danny tries to block out swampy swampy into iam iam Going for a pass, but can't find his teammate as Victorson sends it back to the middle. Swampy a bit too high as he misreads the ball. Rigo getting blocked and intercepted by Iam as Victorson now popping it to the backboard. Danny finds a touch as Panami now will be the one who clears it. Iam now putting a lot of pressure onto the backboard. Victorson with a shot! Save again by Danny! Oh, what a dunk from Swampy again, the dunk master. That's the second time we've seen it, him do it on the goal line. It's a touch in, sees the defender come out and just absolutely slams it into the back of that net. As soon as I went quiet and let you talk, Swampy just decided to score. That was incredible. The game is now equalized. Who will be the one who extends their lead? Let's find out as Victorson getting blocked by Panami as Victorson now! Oh, a bit too high as it just pops onto the crossbar and the post and out. Uh, Swampy now sending it back to the middle. Panami finds a touch, but Iam is there with a shot a bit too high. Victorson 
tries to read it but can't do so. Swampy shoots it a bit too high. Victorson putting it on target as Ian would be the one who just cleans it up. Yeah, lovely play there. Just extended backboard pressure from Domino and the third man as Invictuson comes in and finishes it off. You know, you love to see it just keep drawing the defenders out with those backboard hits and then clean shot at the end. But a good kickoff from the Bulls could be a chance for them to quickly equalize. It will not work out for them, however. Danny having to make a bit of time play. Invictuson quick to stop that once it starts. Yeah, hey, no. Taking the ball, trying to get it past the three defenders, can't do so. Stampy, with a great pinch, Panami will send it into Rigo as Victorson is now the one who challenges the ball. The ball is dropping dangerously in front of the net, but Iam is there with a save. Iam now with a clear onto the backboard, but Danny is there ready as always. Now Victorson taking the ball, tries to get it past Panami. He does so, but can't do so with Danny as Rigo. Goes for a shot a bit too wide as Victorson gets a touch and clears it as Swampy now. Trying to pass it to Iyam, but Danny is just in the way. Victorson will be sending it away. Yeah, lovely pressure from Domino. They're playing super aggressive this series. I mean, not that they weren't being aggressive already. As you say, they like to play quite up front and you know, pressuring the opponents a lot. But this game really making sure that GTZ don't have any time or any space to react and try and control the flow of the game. And here we have Ian dropping another one into the net. Clearly that extended pressure paying off for Domino. Indeed, the aggression is playing in their part, but Paname just unfortunately could not dive in to save it. And the ball just goes in. Two minutes left and it is two goals that separates these two. If Domino Academy holds on to this lead, they will be moving or walking away with another sweep. Yeah, indeed. It looks like it's a, a tale that's going to keep telling itself for these guys unless uh, the GTZ Bulls can do something drastic in these final two minutes. Is regular going for a double tap again? That's his third attempt and one hasn't worked out so far. Missed shot from Panami. The recovery attempt desperate from these bulls trying to get the shots in but the accuracy just needs some work they consistently get a lot of chances at the net like i was saying that extended pressure does come out from them but they just fail to finish it time and time again victorson now with a pass to Iam, but Iam took it a bit too high as victorson goes for a shot blocked by danny as wompy tries to clean it up shoots it onto the post Iam now going for a ceiling shot. He goes for a pass but can't find anyone. As Victorson now sends it back into the blue half. Gets Demo in the process. Iam sends it into Swampy. Swampy sends it to the middle. Iam nearly getting the read. As Victorson now goes for a shot. It is open and it will roll in for Domino Academy. Well, you know, I'm not a person who likes to call it before it's over. There's definitely time and you know, there's a chance that GTZ Bulls can come back, but I'd say it would take a miracle for them to do so at this point. Domino Academy really outshining themselves in this third game. A dominant performance. They've controlled the flow of this game from the outset. You know, they've had all the possession, all the chances in a pinch attempt. They're coming in from Swampy. They're just trying to show off now at this point. Indeed. That last goal does seem like it was the nail on the coffin as it is, we're heading into the 30 seconds mark as Victorson now sending it into his own backboard, but it will go out into no one as Iam now going for a turtle, gets it a bit, sends it into the middle, but no one is there to follow up apart from Rigo. 10 seconds left on the clock, three goals for GTC to score, it looks unlikely. But yeah, it is the nail on the coffin. Domino Academy, they walk away with yet another sweep. Yeah, and the thing is, I'd say, despite the fact this was a sweep, you know, it was in fact a very close series. At least I'd say the first two games were super close. You know, GTZ didn't look like a team that were completely outclassed by Domino by any means. And, you know, in this third game, I'd say that's slightly different. We saw a really dominant side to Domino Esports where they 
you know, controlled the entire flow of the game. They had all the possession and, you know, they kind of forced GTZ Bulls to play to their style. In those first two games, the Bulls came really close to getting wins, especially that first overtime. Just an unfortunate mistake that led to their downfall. And, you know, while they haven't qualified here for the Vortex League, I am looking forward to seeing more of them in the coming season of ECC. But for the Domino Academy, one more sweep. And there will be one more series left for them to play to have a chance at qualifying for the Vortex. What was your opinion on that game, Victor? It was really tight. And for one, it did go to my, you know, prediction. My prediction finally <laughs> works with me. Domino Academy, brilliantly played by both teams, of course. But it is Domino Academy who comes up, back out and who walks away with another sweep. It's just very, it was overall a really good series to watch and cost over. You know, the teams obviously had some missed flaws, but overall in the first few games, uh, they, it was just like ping pong, honestly. Uh, the, the both teams just sending the ball against each other, you know, not really having that much possession. But then later on, they realized that they had to do a bit of team plays and trying to find each other. And that's what they eventually did. And uh, Domino Academy is the one who comes out victorious. And yeah, what are your thoughts about this, Creolix? Yeah, you know, I, I love to support an underdog. And, you know, I was rooting for the GTZ Bulls, but unfortunately, they couldn't claim the win in this series. But congratulations, of course, Domino Academy. But uh, we will be heading to a very short break, I believe. And we'll be back very soon with the final stream game of the day, the lower bracket, round four, where four where eight teams sorry are competing for those final four chances to be in the vortex league 